Hi everyone, this is Kamal. Today, I'm gonna share with you how to make a cool opening that looks like this. We're going to start everything from a scrunch. You can then apply this amazing effect to any videos you like. The best thing is, it's very easy to do. Just open Video Prog Flagger and follow my steps. Okay, if you're into this topic, keep watching. To pull off this effect, we need a masking template that looks like this. Next, let me share with you how to make this template. You can also download the ready-made template from our Facebook group. To reach the group, simply click the link in the description box down below. In that case, you can jump to the next part to learn how to apply the template to your video. Now, let's open Video Prog Flagger. Click on here, find a background feature. Select the white color to get a white background. Then we hit down. Now click here to create a new text clip. Delete the existing text. Click this icon to take a snapshot of the white background. Then we add a snapshot image onto Video Prog Flagger. Now let's restore the background to black. Click on here to create a horizontal guide. We can place the guide over here in the center of the video. That can help us easily arrange our content. Then we add the image we just imported onto the timeline. Hit crop and crop it into a stripe. Find a transform on the transform section. Set rotation angle to 45 degree. Then we click on here and reposition it. Like this, we place one of the vertexes on the guide. After that, we press Ctrl and C to make a copy of that, and press Ctrl and V to paste the copied image clip onto the overlay track, changing the rotation angle to 135. Then we change its position by taking the same steps. Our target is to make them look like the letter V. Let's click on here to create several new overlay tracks. Right click on the mouse to select two images. Press Ctrl and C and then Ctrl and V to copy and paste these images onto the timeline respectively. Then we move them backwards a little bit, just like this. Repeat these steps several times. Now we get such an effect. Click on here to take a snapshot. Then we import the snapshot image onto Video Prog Flagger. Let's click on Motion and add the animation effect to the image. Click on here to add the first keyframe. Adjust the range of the selection box. Then we move the selection box towards the right horizontally until there is only black. Next, we add a second keyframe at 1.5 second. Restore the selection box to the original position. Changing the speed mode to speed down. 
take a preview. Hmm, the image looks dynamic. Next, we add a third keyframe at around the second second. We don't need to make any adjustments for this frame. Then we add the fourth keyframe at a 3.5 second. After that, we scale down the selection box to make it show only the white color in the middle. And let's adjust the speed mode to speed up. Last, we add the last keyframe at the end. Let's click on Apply to confirm our changes. Next, we hit Export to export this video. Then we add a source video to which we want to add the masking template to video product flagger as well as the masking clip we just made. Add the source video onto the video track. Add the masking clip onto the overlay track. Don't forget to scale the masking clip to make it fit the source video size. Now we can only see the masking clip. Go to the inspector panel, scroll down to find the blend mode. Select darken. Now the source video under the masking clip is also visible. Let's check out our final work. Hmm, great job. You can add the masking templates to any videos you have. That's all for today's tutorial. We'll bring you more interesting masking effects. If you want to know more editing tricks or what has been going on with Video Prog Flagger, be sure to click the subscribe button to subscribe. See you in our next editing tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!